Jurors in Philadelphia have been listening to graphic testimony in a landmark criminal case. The defendant is the highest ranking official of the Catholic Church ever to stand trial in the sex abuse scandal. He's not accused of assault, but of a cover up. Elaine Quijano has the story. Monsignor William Lynn is accused of endangering children by helping reassign priests suspected of child sex abuse to jobs where they continued to prey on boys and girls. Lynn was in charge of Philadelphia's priests from 1992 to 2004. Jurors have heard graphic testimony from victims recounting how priests under Lynn's supervision sexually abused them, sometimes inside churches. One witness testified he went directly to Monsignor Lynn with his complaints of abuse. Lynn Abraham is a former Philadelphia district attorney. What makes this trial different? I think this is the first time in the history of, the, of a prosecution in this country where a member of the hierarchy of the church has been put on trial in a public courtroom for covering up sex abuse. Abraham spent five years investigating the Philadelphia Archdiocese. What they really were doing was shuffling priests around from parish to parish. The Monsignor's defense is he followed the orders of his superior, the late Cardinal Anthony Bevilacqua. Cardinals are the highest ranking clergy in the Catholic Church. They answer only to the Pope. And this should serve as a warning to everybody across this country that now that all this uh, secrecy has been uncovered, not only in Philadelphia, but in California and, and, and Washington and Alaska and every place else. Next fall, Bishop Robert Finn of Kansas City will be the highest ranking Catholic clergyman to go on trial. He is accused of failing to tell police about suspected child abuse. Marcy Hamilton is a Philadelphia attorney who represents clergy sex abuse victims in civil trials. Until the last several years, most of them just thought that everyone would believe the church, everyone would believe the bishops, and they would be ignored. This is empowering for them. Philadelphia Archdiocese officials declined to talk to us about the Lynn trial. The judge has ordered all parties not to comment on the case. Lynn could face up to 28 years in prison. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Philadelphia.